Hi guys, how's it going? So I was not planning on making this video so early, but uh, today I got this really cool black background in the mail. So I wanted to really try it out and uh, I ended up completing this video. So what this video is really about, it's about how to check the battery wear level on your iPhone and your MacBook. This is a thing most people go through. They, go, they face really bad issues with their battery life or the phone or the MacBook it just turns off at 20% battery level and they just rush to the local mobile repair shop and they end up spending too much. So what happens basically in there? They get the battery replaced. The issue can, it's not always like there's a battery issue only, that the battery needs to be replaced. Sometimes issues are like there is a software issue or a minor hardware issue that can be easily fixed without replacing the whole battery. So how do you check for yourself that do you need a battery replacement or the issue is with your software or your hardware? So I'll be introducing you guys to two apps that will help you to figure out the battery wear level on your iPhone and MacBook and charge cycle counts and there are some other features these apps give. I'll put the names of both the apps down in the description. Apps are totally free. One is available on the Apple App Store and the other is available totally free on the developer's website. It works with the OS X. And one more thing, if money is really falling out of your pockets, I would suggest, please, it takes a lot of time to make an app and a lot of effort. So please go to the developer's website when you are downloading it. Just hit the little donation button and donate some money. Let's get into it and see how these apps work. So here I got my iPhone 4 and uh, in the app store just go and search battery life and it'll be the first result only just go and download it. So this app only works with iOS 7 plus. So here I got my iPhone 7 plus. I bought it back in October in 2016 so it wouldn't be having any battery wear levels because I took great care of it and as you can see it says a perfect and there is 0.0% battery wear level. Battery wear offs with time and sometimes bad charging habits. Suppose you received your brand new iPhone. It has a 2900 mAh battery but if you check it after a few months it won't be the same. It would be having a 2850 mAh or even less battery capacity. So when this number keeps going down, means your battery is wearing out little by little. So now before we get into it, I'll explain what design capacity and full charge capacity means. So full charge capacity is the maximum capacity of your battery to the point where it can be charged. And design capacity is the capacity of your battery that it can be charged to when the iPhone or the MacBook just left Apple and came into your hands. So the thing you need to consider when checking battery wear levels is the design capacity. When the iPhone or MacBook is new, it will say 100% design capacity because there is no battery wear level on a new piece. But as you can see, it goes down. So when you get something under 90% design capacity, then you will start facing issues like you'll run out of your battery real quick. And once you go below 80%, it's gonna get more crazy. So below 80% is when you should consider for a battery replacement but I would prefer get a battery rep if you have like a lot of money then get a battery replaced after you just go below 90%. So in the battery details it gives all the details about your battery and as you can see in the current capacity it says uh, 2900 mAh because uh, it has no wear levels so nothing has changed the design capacity and the current capacity are both the same. And there are some other things as well like the charger information. When you plug your phone into charging all these values will start appearing in here it will tell the voltage and stuff of your charger. The most amazing thing about this app is its hardware test feature. In this you can get a real-time test for your iPhone's hardware. 
I personally like its hardware test feature because uh, it has helped me out a lot because whenever I have to go and buy a used iPhone I can just simply download the app on that iPhone and check all of its hardware now the best one is the screen test because it tells you where the dead pixels are located for me it's the dead pixel shows up when it's a white screen and it's a very tiny dead pixel and I can basically show off in the video now there are some other tests as well for the camera for the sound for the mic and for the auxiliary port and this one doesn't have an auxiliary port so leave that out <laughs> you can actually check the proximity sensor with this app I've never seen it before in any app so now we will be checking out coconut battery you can download it from the developers website so what I like about this app the most is you can actually check the battery wear levels for both your MacBook and your iPhone. This app only works with Mac OS X. So here I got coconut battery and as you can see it's already giving me out all the details of my MacBook Pro's battery. And as you can also see the design capacity it's not showing 100% it's showing around 85% because this macbook pro is like two years old and it has got like quite a lot of battery wear level so now let's check my iphone with coconut battery so it would be showing up under ios device the thing that I like about this app is cycle count. It actually shows how many times did you charge your device. Where does this thing come in handy now? When you are buying a used iPhone or MacBook and someone says it's like new, then here's the trick. Go plug the device and check cycle counts. And if it's like new, new, then it should have zero or one charge cycles. And if it's like not that old, then it should have something like below 50. The only thing that I don't like about this app is that it can check battery wear levels for older devices like my iPhone 4 because it, the developer's app says actually that it can check devices that are running iOS 6 and above so iPhone 4 counts into that but I don't know why it doesn't show but up But still there. it's really helpful and thank you for watching my video. If you really enjoyed watching my video do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and stay tuned. There will be more coming.